It's Curse Boga with a deck profile of Hyperion Agent. Um, I clicked the sort button, so basically it's in alphabetic order and um, whatnot. So uh, sorry if the resolution revo resolution isn't that amazing, but um, here we go. We have three mystic mystical shine ball. Um, basically the coolest card I think in this deck is amazing. Oh, I'm kidding. It's uh, very useful though. You could pull out your synchro, level nine synchros, level five synchros. Or level 4 synchros with it, level 5 synchros, or le level 4 synchros, level f 7 synchros with it, and level 9 synchros. And I'll show you how. Uh, 2 Arsenal Christia, obvious in this deck. Uh, it's a stun card. This whole deck is fairy, so it's amazing. Held of Orange Light is a very good idea in this deck over Effect Valor, because it's a fairy, it's a level 2 tuner, and it's able to discard not only itself as a fairy, but another fairy to get Arsenal Christia out faster. Uh, honest, a staple in all light decks. Um, what else can I say? Three of this new card, Master Hyperion. Uh, very broken card. I'm not gonna lie. Insanely ridiculous. Insanely ridiculously easy to get out. 2,700 beater, and it could be a double chaos sorcerer that destroys. B ridiculous. Three Ancient of Creation Venus will spam out your shine balls, which uh also helps with the synchroing. And uh, the new Agent of Mystery Earth. Agent of Mystery Earth. Uh, you, it's a searcher when you normal summon it, you add one ancient monster. But if you have Sanctuary in the Sky, you can add Hi Master Hyperion. And to finish off, you have Zer two Zeradeus instead of Terraform because he's a fairy and you can pitch him to the graveyard for Herald of Orange Light, or you can pitch him to the graveyard to search of this big boy. Alright, next spells you have one Dark Hole, one True Nade, Monster and Backgirl Hate, uh, Monster Reborn, Staple in most decks. I mean, you can just whip out the Zeradeus as a 21 beater, or, uh, tuners, synchroing, take their monster. Anyways, continuing. Two MST for the back row hate, two pot of duality, uh, set up your plays. It's not going that budget, but you could always take these out for other stuff, like, uh, more of these, or, uh, cards from the sky. But, three Sanctuary in the Sky, uh, love this card, amazing, the whole deck's fairy, you basically don't take damage. Searchable with this, uh, has a lot of effects with that and that. Uh, two white, uh, white elephant's gift. You can, alright, basically first turn, you summon this, get this to your hand, uh, have some back row down, like this, for example. Then they try to attack or summon, you have play that or that. Next turn, you summon this, pay 1500 to get three of these out. Three of these whores, play one of these on one of them. Draw two cards. You have two left. So that's level four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because this is a level two tuner. So you could go Trishula or Mist Worms. I'm going to add more synchros in a second. For traps, you have three dimensional uh, dimensional prison to protect your monsters. Uh, two divine punishment, a very broken counter trap card. If you have this on the field, you get any spell, trap, or monster effect. So that's awesome. Um, Mirror Force, staple in every deck, protection. And you got the Solemn Trio. Solemn Brigade, blah, blah, blah. For Synchros, basically any level 7 will do. Any, uh, but yeah, any level 7, 5, 4, and 9s. But, uh, that's pretty much it, and peace out, YouTube.